Hi, this is Dr. Bharadwaj. I am CEO and Chief Doctor at Vidika Somyapati. Today we will discuss on pathology. Pathology means the changes that can occur in your lumbar region when you have lumbar spondylosis. First one is they can be spasms of the muscle. Muscles can become stiff. They can become tender. These are the local changes within the lumbar region. Coming to the bony changes, they can be resorption of calcium. Because of this, the bones become weak and they develop extra bone. This is known as osteophyte. This can compress both the spinal nerve, root of the spinal nerve and also the complete spinal cord as well. In every vertebra, there are growth plates. When these growth plates become hard, this is known as sclerosis or it can be known as hibernation. There will be decreased joint space. There will be diminished spaces between two vertebra. And coming to the facet joints, facet joints are the joints between two vertebra. This can become unstable in lumbar spondylosis. Coming to the cartilage, there is a cartilaginous structure in the joint. This cartilage can become fractured. These are fractured cartilage. Coming to the capsule, capsule is a sac-like structure that is surrounding a joint. This capsule can become thick, this can become hard. There can be some hypertrophic changes where the synovial membrane within this capsule can become thick. In the intervertebral disc, there can be dehydration of intervertebral disc. There is lots of fluid in the intervertebral disc. This is known as desiccation. This intervertebral disc become thin. The height of the intervertebral disc is reduced. There can be cracks in the outer part of intervertebral disc known as annulus fibrosis. The inner gelatinous part of the intervertebral disc can come out and this is known as herniation. This damaged intervertebral disc can put compression on the spinal cord itself or also it can put pressure on the narrow roots of the nerves that are coming out from the intervertebral foramen. All these degenerative changes can occur. The ligaments that are attached between two bones can become thick and they can become stiff. Coming to the intervertebral foramen, this is a space between two vertebra where the spinal nerves come out and the root of the nerve can be compressed. Because of this, this can become narrow and there can be compression on the root of the nerves because of degenerative disc. Even the vertebral canal within the vertebra can become narrow and put the pressure on spinal cord. Fiticus homeopathy.